Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Pastor's Ponderings. You know, one of the big challenges of life in this world is facing the different problems, the different tribulations, and um, well, honestly, the different challenges that come at us, right? Some of them weigh very heavily on our shoulders, and some of us cause us to toss and turn at night. I know uh, as we become, as our culture and society become more and more aware of our mental health and taking care of um, taking care of that aspect of our lives, this becomes more into the forefront uh, of my thought process as I've been reading through scripture and as I've been dealing with the challenges and the weight of, of ministry, of marriage, of life, right, as a uh, as I grow and mature as the man that God has called me to be, um, this continues to be a challenge, as I'm sure it does for each and every one of you. It reminds me of a, a, a passage from Matthew chapter 6, as Jesus is, is preaching to his disciples. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. It's not life more than food, the body more than clothing. Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow, sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And then he finishes a statement. Therefore, do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious about anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. You know, we don't always handle anxiety, stress, the pressures of the world in the best way. And I know there's been many times where I come into work and I talk to Jason. <laughs> and I just sit down with him and, and share with him, you know, some of the things that are going on uh, in my life. And as I sit with him, he, he always seems to know the things to say. Yeah, it's a, it's a God thing. Believe me. But most recently when I sat down with him, he shared with me, you know, when, when I'm tossing and turning at, at night, when I can't sleep because I'm struggling with something, I pray. He told me that he prays that God will take control of the problem before him. So often our anxiety comes from us trying to maintain control. We want to be the saviors of our lives. We want to have control and be, be the problem solvers, the ones who save the day and make things happen. But when we recognize our own limitations, when we relinquish that control to God, we find that our lives become a lot less stressful, a lot less anxious. When we recognize who is truly in control and we trust in him, things can things tend to go a little bit better. Doesn't mean you're not going to have troubles. Doesn't mean that you're not going to toss and turn at night. But just saying those those words, Father, I entrust this to you can make all the difference. Whatever you're going through, whether now or in the future, trust in Paul's words. Don't be anxious about anything, but through trust and supplication, cast all your cares on him.